Welcome to July's episode of OPP 2019. Well, on this month's episode, we have a whole bunch of cool stuff to look at. So let's get started. The first couple of items are from Jeff Robinson, and he made these keychains, a few of them out of leather. He said it is a five ounce vig tan cowhide leather. Then he also made some out of wood, which is a, a 3.6 millimeter thick red oak sheet. And he said that these patterns are from Steve Good. Thanks for sharing those, Jeff. Next is a project by Owen Morse, and he says this is his second sign. He's cut it out with a jigsaw and a couple of power hand tools, and the wood he used is beech and oak. So thanks for sharing that, Owen. The next couple of projects are from Phil Gavin. He said that he and his wife were on holiday in Portugal and they found a whole bunch of seashells. So he collected those up and when he got home, he put all those together and I think he said he went and bought some more and then he made some projects. And so this anchor he had cut out and he stained it black and he used some silicone glue to put the shells on it. And then he saw someone had made a baby toy hippo and so he made one of those. He said he used some scrap wood to make that and he used oak, paduk, maple, and walnut. And then he put a beeswax finish over the whole thing. Pretty neat stuff, Phil. I'm always looking what to do with some shells. So thanks for those ideas. The next project is from Andy McConnell and he is a retired firefighter. He said he's been a woodworker most of his life and now he likes to dabble in different types of woodworking and things. But he wanted to try making this horseshoe fairy door and so he made this and he said he has three granddaughters and that are always wondering what he's doing in the shop. So he's excited to have them see this and, and make some for them. He said he thinks he got a little bit carried away, but I don't think you did at all, Andy. I think it looks really cool. You did an awesome job. But thanks for sharing that with us. These next couple of projects are from Tony Pitzer and he just started a YouTube channel. So I will put a link down in the description box for his channel. This first project he is sharing was done by his sister and she made it for their dad and it's a hummingbird. It's all made out of acrylic. This outdoor sign he made for a YouTuber and he sent it to him. This rose was a pattern that he found in Scroll Saw magazine. And this knife was a pattern by Steve Good and he said he made it out of oak. So thanks for sharing those, Tony. Make sure to check out his channel. This next project is from someone I met named Jerry, and he lives in the town here. I was at a garage sale and we got to talking about woodworking and he had this pinball machine that he had made, just spectacular, sitting right there in his garage. And so we chit chatted about it. I asked him if I could take some pictures of it and share it on my OPP video and he said, sure, go ahead. So I just thought everybody out there might be interested in seeing this, pretty neat. These next couple of projects are from James Beaton and he's from Melbourne, Australia. He said they're from Judy Gale Roberts patterns and they're the most recent projects he's created. So thanks for sharing those, James. I really like the fish in the patterns. I don't know, I, I think fish are awesome. So thanks for sharing those, James. The next couple of projects are from Ron Galata. And they too are Judy Gale Roberts patterns. First is this motorcycle. He said it's 3D coming out of the picture. So wow, that's awesome. And then he also made these boats, which you know what, I like boats too. I, I like oceany things, boats, fish, and all that good stuff. And I think these are really awesome. Thanks for sharing those, Ron. The next couple of projects are from Ron Ostermecki. And these projects are also from Judy Gale Roberts. So he had made this owl in the cactus quite a while back. Then he saw in a 1988 issue of Wood Magazine, this pattern of the owl inside of a stump. And so he had a lot of the wood that he had from making the first owl. And so he made the second owl. So thanks for sharing those, Ron. This last project came from an email from Bob Templeton. But the project isn't from Bob. Bob and his wife were on vacation in Paducah, Kentucky. They went to the National Quilt Museum. And this quilt here 
is made by Fraser Smith, who is a sculptor of wood. It's called floating. It's made from carved wood and watercolors, and it is 65 inches by 42 inches by 4 inches. Bob and I were emailing, and I told Bob that I was like, what? That's made out of wood? And so then when I, I looked at Fraser Smith's website and stuff, I was like, wow, that is really, really cool. I have links down in the description box for The Quilt Show, for Fraser Smith and his Facebook page, and also Fraser Smith's website. So you can check out all the other things that he does. He does a lot of fabric wood stuff, a lot of quilts and wow. And so I recommend you checking it out. So thanks for sharing that, Bob. So thanks again for joining me, everybody, for another episode of OPP, Other People's Projects. If you have something you'd like to share on OPP, please send me an email or a Facebook message or something. Like I've said before, sometimes I don't see my Facebook messages. I don't know why, but anyway, you could always send me an email and just put in the subject line OPP. So I look forward to seeing what everyone's making and sharing it if you let me. And we'll just see you next time.